Act one, everyone has each other's backs in a constructive society. Act two, it's every man for himself in a society of monsters. It's the entire story of the Undercity in like four scenes. But I didn't realize how truly dark the scene was when I first saw it. Keep in mind, Huck didn't just betray Vi. The whole thing with Kate helping her get the medicine, making sure Vi was alive, he did this knowing he was gonna run to Silco as soon as he was done. Why help Vi if he's just gonna betray her a second later? Because no way is Silco paying out for the location of a corpse. And Huck knows that. Huck sees Vi and she's dying, so he has to keep her alive just long enough to go fetch Silco, which he must have done right after Kate finished hugging him. You know, this is a guy we saw was pretty business savvy, and there's something so twisted about him keeping Vi alive just long enough for his betrayal to be profitable. But that's the addict brain we're seeing in action here. Huck is having cravings, and he just has to secure the shortest path to Shimmer. That's all that matters. He's aware of what he just did, and there's guilt there. We see it, but too bad he did what he had to do. That's addiction for you. So they fit this whole arc, a whole symbolic thing with a setting, and a chilling but very real depiction of addiction, all in like, what, three minutes? How do you keep doing this, Arcane Rider? 